Welcome back to my channel Mathematics. Today we have a very tricky challenge. 6 divided by 3 times 1 plus 3 inside parentheses. At the first sign it looks like it pretty easy, but a lot of students say, hey mister, this is the easiest challenge ever seen. I learned this stuff in the third grade. So that's fantastic. Put your answer into the comment section. Choose one option. What do you think is the correct answer? Option A, option B or option C. And in the end of the video we will check our answers. It will be really interesting, I promise you. So here's our challenge. We have 6 dividing by 3 times 1 plus 3 inside parentheses. As you can see we have a lot of mass operation. Here we have division sign, we have multiplication sign, we have addition sign. A lot of students start with division. Another part of students start with multiplication. But in terms of math, we should know what is the correct order, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer. We should know what is the correct order. We can solve our challenges randomly. Let's look at this PEMDAS order of operation. This is the most popular order of operation in the world. All internet libraries, scientific, graphic calculator works according to PEMDAS order of operation. And how does PEMDAS work? PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that higher position, higher priority. Parenthesis has the higher position. It means that first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. Next exponents it's like 7 square, 7 cube like that. Next multiplication division group and last step is addition and subtraction. So right now let's solve our challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. Here's our challenge. 6 dividing by 3 inside parentheses we have 1 plus 3. Here's our challenge. Let's scan what elements do we have. We have division sign, we have multiplication sign, we have addition sign. What do we have the sciences? Right? Addition we have right here as you can see. Division we have right here, multiplication we have right here, we don't have any subtraction sign, we don't have any exponents, ah, we have, we have parentheses, right? So parentheses has the higher position, it means that parentheses has the higher priority, because PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom. It means that first we should evaluate the expression inside parentheses. This is our first step, we should find our parentheses. Inside parentheses we have addition sign, so addition, this is our second step, this is our second step. What do we have? We have 6 dividing by 3 times times 4. So we complete our second step, addition, because addition is inside parentheses. What is our what is our next step? We should multiply or we should divide. As I told before, PEMDAS works from the top to the bottom, but division is the first sign from left to right. We should uh, solve our challenge in a strict order now, from left to right. 6 dividing by 3, which is equal to 2. 2 times 4 which is equal to 8, right? Option C, option C. So our third step is division, our first step is multiplication, last step. Option C, this is the correct answer. A lot of students uh, argue with each other about the correct answer, because if we start with division, we have one answer. If we start with multiplication, we have another answer. But in terms of math, it's really bad to solve our challenges randomly. We should know what is the correct order, because whatever order of operation we select, it's going to create a different answer. So in our case, we solve our challenge according to PEMDAS order of operation. And that's the most popular order of operation in the world. First, we find our parentheses. Inside parentheses, we have addition sign. So it means that first we should add 1 plus 3, which is equal to 4. Our second step is the first sign from left to right is division. Yes, 6 divided by 3, which is equal to 2. Our last step is multiplication. 2 times, 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. Option C. This is the correct answer to this challenge. I hope the answer is the same as mine. I hope you learned something new. But definitely don't feel bad if you got this wrong. I have a lot of videos on my YouTube channel. So guys, thank you for your time. Have a great day, guys, and see you in the next videos.